Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Ariette 1318 Espresso Coffee Maker. And what I want to do today is to show you around the coffee maker, some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just for our start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. First of all, we've got the coffee maker unboxed. Now, I'll be honest, this is quite a new brand for us. Now, we don't tend to do a lot with coffee machines at the moment but clearly it is a huge market I must admit I do like coffee myself I'm not really into the instant coffee uh, I do like it where there's a especially like this kind of machine where it's it'll actually grind the beans for you this is right up my street anyway that's quite a Machine. So, do what? Let's just pop the box down here out of the way. Right. So, some uh, quite a bit of packaging here. So you need to do need to protect the machine for when it's in transport, when it transits, shall I say. Uh, just get rid of the polythene around here. Uh, if you follow me on YouTube for a while, I'll often comment on the packaging where the product arrives in. Uh, I'm pleased to say most of this is recyclable. Uh, most of it is, is cardboard. I do appreciate sometimes you need a little bit of polythene around it. Uh, I know sometimes you can recycle some of that, but uh, just get rid of the get rid of the tape on top here, and then we'll be ready to start having a look at the machine itself. As with a lot of appliances, we do find that there is quite a bit of transit tape, as they call it, especially on loose items. Uh, during transit, you don't want them moving around or making a noise or getting damaged even worse so you'll often find there is some transit tape which isn't a problem I'm pleased that it doesn't leave a, doesn't leave a residue or anything so I'll just show you the dimensions of the product because clearly this is going to be a coffee maker that sits on the side on a worktop in your kitchen it's not the sort of product that tends to get put away in the cupboard and then you take it out each time you want to use it so first of all the width of it you're looking around 31 centimeters or just over 12 inches the depth of it you're looking around 29 centimeters around 11 and a half inches and then the height so if you put it under say a cupboard and again you're looking around 31 centimeters or just over 12 inches uh, so if you are limited for the height here then at least you know the sizes just have a quick check before you buy, I suppose it's any coffee maker or any appliance, just have a measure, make sure it fits in where you want it to fit. When you first get the machine, what you'll need to do is to put the water in. So all you do is you take the container out, just go and fill it with water up to the maximum line and then just pop that back in. It has got a, like a, a channel just down the side here. So you know that what you are going to get it right in there that's it that just drops back in i must admit i'm not unfortunately not going to demonstrate it uh, this is one for our showroom so in the end we wouldn't need to sell it and i can't unfortunately use it uh, which is a shame because i must admit i do love my coffee and i would have loved to have uh, done a demonstration of this uh, but once you've got the water in there then you just need to get it plugged in so i will get it plugged in just to have a quick look at the, the appliance. Now the idea of this machine, and I suppose with a lot of higher end coffee machines, is that it's actually grinding the beans. Uh, so if, if you uh, have a machine where it's already ground the coffee, then you just tend to find that it doesn't taste quite as fresh. Uh, whereas with this machine, you've got the bean hopper on top here. This has a capacity of up to 250 grams. Uh, all you need to do you just take the lid off, put the beans in there, put the lid on. Now this machine, you can actually select the grinding level. Uh, the 
the way you do that is you've got a button on the back here and all you need to do is just rotate it depending on the grinding level that you require and this can make a huge difference to the taste of the coffee uh, and in theory like how strong you want it so once you've selected the level and really it's, it's a case of I suppose trial and error and also depending on the beans that you're using um, I think a lot of people tend to have the favorite uh, there is a company that I really like I'm, I'm not going to mention it here I don't want to have favoritism uh, but I think once you've found a coffee company that you always like then I do tend to stick with it but you press the button turn the the hopper on the top and then you just release the button and then it locks into place once you've selected the coarseness of the coffee uh, through rotating this at the top then what you need to do is you just need to get the filter and you've got the filter handle here uh, all you need to do is just pop this under here and with the acts of doing that you'll get the coffee uh, coming out it'll basically grind it and then just comes out into the filter there and you get the press here so all you need to do is just press the coffee into it just so it's just under the level at the top here uh, you don't want too much and you don't want to press it too hard because you'll find that the it, it won't produce the coffee that you really require uh, I have found that before on another machine the, I tried to put too much in here and the coffee didn't really taste that great and it was all clumped in here as well. So once you've done that, then you just need to come around to the other side and just pop this. So you just locate that underneath and rotate it. You don't need to turn it too much. So all you need to do is just make sure it's in place. It just locks in like that to that position. Then once you've got your cup underneath, then all you do is you just press this button on the top here and then it will distribute the water and the coffee into your cup. Now personally, I really like stronger coffee. Uh, I do like my espressos and Americanos especially. I'm not really into some of the milkier coffees like lattes or cappuccinos, but if that is your thing, then you have got the option. You've got a steam pipe around the side here where you can actually pop some milk and you can actually froth the milk to make a cappuccino or latte. Just out of interest, what's your favourite coffee? Uh, I've said that mine is pretty much an Americano. What's your favourite coffee? Let me know in the comments below. And how do you like it? And clearly, once you've finished with the coffee, then you want to make sure that you get the filter a clean. Uh, what you don't want to do is you don't want to leave it dirty for the next time you use it. So that's easy to take apart. You can just take that out and just, just give it a quick rinse under the tap. Uh, you won't really need to give it much more than that. Uh, also, clearly the steam pipe, if you've made something like a cappuccino, then you'll have excess milk on here. So just wait for that to cool down, because what you don't want to do is to get a cloth and wipe it over while it's still hot, because you might, you might burn yourself, but hopefully you shouldn't. Also, the tray at the bottom, that comes off as well. So when it comes to, you know, sometimes you have excess, either coffee or water, just at the bottom here, and that all comes off, so that's nice and easy to, to clean. Again. You probably can pop it in the dishwasher if you really need to, but I just recommend cleaning it in hot soapy water. Then that just pops back on there like that. You'd also get this cheeky little tool as well. Uh, that's just designed to help if you get any blockages anywhere. So I'm really glad that Arietta have put that in as well. Uh, but really all I'd say, I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on the Arietta 1318 coffee maker. I know really I should have made a cup of coffee uh, I'll be honest, this is uh, this is actually for a customer. They've given me a permission to make this video, uh, but they weren't too keen on me actually making a cup of coffee. Clearly it's a brand new product, so they're actually going to collect it today from us. If you are thinking of buying one of these models, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I did mention earlier, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. If you've got one of these machines, or if you have got a dedicated coffee machine, then let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback, and also the kind of coffee that you really like as well. Anyway, thanks for watching.